The idea of time travel is fascinating and interesting, and certainly newer ideas about how the universe is constructed raise the possibility that more dimensions than the three dimensions of space and one dimension of time that we're used to here in the universe exist. The ideas that are often used in fiction, where you travel faster than the speed of light in order to change the past. For example, at the end of Superman 1, Superman whizzes around the planet Earth because he is so shocked that Lois Lane just died. In the great earthquake caused by a nuclear explosion, when Lex Luthor detonates something, he breaks the light barrier, travels faster than the speed of light, and then the Earth starts to go backwards. All of a sudden, Lois Lane rises from the dead. The fanciful ideas of traveling backward through time by moving faster than the speed of light simply mathematically don't work. Michael J. Fox put plutonium in his DeLorean and he rocketed back in time. Well, plutonium does not have enough energy to drive a time machine. To energize a time machine, to bend time into a pretzel, to punch a hole in the fabric of space and time, would require the energy of a star. One version of a time machine uses what is called a wormhole. Think of the looking glass in Alice in Wonderland. That looking glass is the wormhole. What happens if you go back in time and kill your parents before you're born? Well, if you kill your parents before you're born, how can you be born? Because you just killed your parents before you're born. If you go backwards in time and you save Abraham Lincoln from being assassinated, you have essentially saved somebody else's Abraham Lincoln. Your Abraham Lincoln died. If you change the fabric of time, you are changing another parallel universe. These people are genetically identical to the people of your past, but they are different. If I could go back any time in past to see any event, I think I would go back into the past about three and a half billion years ago to witness the creation of the first molecules of life. I would like to go back to the time that the Earth formed, that our Sun formed, and see how it was, what exactly was the process that made it possible for our Sun to collect together in force of gravity, with all that space dust and gas coming together to form a star. When people ask, is time travel just a philosophical structure or a hypothetical or mathematically shown? The answer is it's a combination of them all.